we are here in beautiful downtown Sacramento.
I object. I object. Got overruled. <laughs> you want to tell us a real story how she hurt that leg? <laughs> she did not just bring her a mallet. Oh, a gavel. A gavel. A gavel. I don't care what it is. I know how your brothers feel now. It's two, you got two, two brothers? Two, two sons? No. They each have one son, different baby mamas and daddies. Yeah, but I know how they feel because they ain't here. They're busy here. You know, because that's just like your friend D, D and Carla, huh? Oh, what is Where's D? Oh, so you here? What I thought you were all getting ready for your wedding. That's me. That's the strange one, man. Nah. Oh, no. Did I get some wrong information? Government names. Hmm? Nah. She used your government on you, didn't she? Ah, Allison's not here. And what about. Her other friend, Kyla. Kayla. That's you. I don't want to say it right. I said when it came up on my text. And you know how people write text nowadays when they try to write like y'all in little With acronyms and emojis. That's the way me and her mom was communicating. And I had to make sure I didn't put anything saucy on there because my wife is nosy. <laughs> No, my wife is extremely nosy. My wife is first generation Chinese. And she doesn't speak English very well. <laughs> huh? She read those texts like, what the hell are you looking at that for? No, hey, I got a chance to, you know, have two New Year's this year. I, hey, you know, they have Chinese New Year's this year. So I had two of them. I had one where I kicked my family out. Finally. Because let me ask you guys this before, you know, take a little break and use a second disc. Everybody say I'm wrong because I put my family out. Yes. That's wrong. Because I put my family. Thank you. Oh, okay. Now, here's the circumstance. My family came over to visit me for Thanksgiving. Okay? It's May. Those aren't depend those aren't families, and those aren't visitors, those are dependents. They came over, they don't know how to leave. They came over and stayed. I'm like, if they were gonna stay that long, I would have paid for the best motel six bowl in half. And if they needed Wi Fi, I would have found that Motel 7 out of pay for Wi Fi. <laughs> Get y'all asses out of here. Y'all know y'all, anybody in here have family members that come over and stay so long that they don't know how to leave? Talk about you gotta go on vacation to get the food out your house? Huh? Oh, white people don't know that, Joey. Y'all might have people over, huh? No, I get rid of mine. See, you guys aren't, because see, I know. Y'all are on our side of the fence. Because Art is too laid back to be a regular white guy. <laughs> and he's from California. Anybody in here smoke weed? Not me. Look, see, this whole table, this whole table, everybody, whoa. I grow, hello. <laughs> Allegedly. They were trying to, but she's a snitch. <laughs> Oh, so you're on our side. I know you. I mean, as long as you don't do no Beautiful. Just don't go to Florida. Anything you do, do not do well in Florida. That's where she's going now. That's a joke, baby. Get it. No, it's, it's not a joke because it's some crazy stuff that you're going to be, you know, I'm going to have some fun with though. Yeah, because I know you heard about the guy that raped the alligator. Twice. <laughs> you have clients like that. You can have clients like that guy that shot his proctologist. Twice. A proctologist. You guys know what a proctologist is? Older folks. That's the guy that when you go to the doctor, he sticks his finger up in number two spot. He did this to this guy, one of his patients, and he had two organs. No, the patient. <laughs> and then the patient came back and shot the doctor. <laughs> We're giving him two more guys. <laughs> I 
I need to find out what kind of doctor that is. Hey, I need to get me one today. You can find me shoot like that. Hey, that's gonna be incredible. Someone did. So that's over here today. Um, we had a white elephant gift exchange one year. Okay, so imagine this. There's a whole bunch of guys and girls together in a room that's co ed. And Taylor here decides to bring a very special gift to this white elephant gift exchange. Okay, so most people brought like, I don't know, hot chocolate and mug with a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> Taylor heard that it was a gag gift situation. She said, What else do you gag on? <laughs> so Taylor brought some sex toys, <laughs> a hot pink vibrating dildo, <laughs> and guess who got that gift? Yeah. But do you still have it? In my next Hey, all right, that, now they want to hear some more stories. Who's got another one? 